behind Missouri. Local 5's Larissa Millis reports what is being done to stop the abuse and mistreatment of dogs in Iowa. Iowa consistently ranks lowest in terms of puppy mill abuse. Now an Iowa congressman has recently introduced legislation to help prevent animal abuse in the state and across the country. This year, Representative Zach Nunn introduced two bills as part of the larger farm bill, the Goldies Act and the Puppy Protection Act. So what the Puppy Protection Act and the Goldies Act aims to do is to really move forward a plan to ensure that USDA does their job. When there is a violation, as we would anywhere else, we would expect USDA to be able to report that and help save these animals. Goldie's Act is named after a golden retriever who was found emaciated at a Wayne County, Iowa breeder in 2021. Nunn says the USDA didn't take proper action when they found the dog, instead leaving her on the property. She eventually had to be euthanized. There is no reason in this day and age that USDA's failure to act should result in this kind of horrific environment. Preston Moore is the Iowa State Director for the Humane Society of the United States. He says the current set of regulations dog breeding and puppy mill facilities have to follow are in the Animal Welfare Act, which was signed into law in 1966. Moore says change is needed because right now, most violations just end up on USDA reports with little to no consequences. Both of those bills would hopefully make some good progress in, in the overall conditions in these facilities, but um, also, and maybe more importantly, in the enforcement of those regulations. Furry Friends Refuge in West Des Moines sees the positive in the legislation. Britt Ganey with the shelter says groups like theirs don't have the resources to take in hundreds of dogs at a time. It makes it very hard for the rescue organizations that are already trying to serve all of the other needs to then also essentially be left to clean up uh, from those breeders who are not doing right by the animals. As Iowans, we have fought hard to make sure that our livestock is some of the most premier in the country. So why would we put the raising of dogs at a different level. Nan says that the legislation is going to be passed over the next few months and hit the president's desk as well. Larissa Millis, Local 5 News.